being inside at the Japanese Judo Federation, I mean, you guys are just coming off the, you know, hosted Olympic Games and arguably one of the best results in the history of the Olympics for the Japanese judo team. Mm -hmm. Um, not just for judo, but I think Japan in general, um, had a lot more medals this year. I think it was over 50 medals, which was quite a bit more it, uh, compared to any other year in the Olympics. So Japan as a country did really well and judo as a country did extremely well. And I think, um, I just want to know like how people feel. Cause I know there was that little bit, you know, the only negative, And I mean, it's so hard to point at such so close to perfection with nine gold medals and in, uh, I think 12 medals total, but you ended up finishing second in the team event. And I just kind of wonder what the, um, thought process or what's the feeling like in the national office? I mean, are people happy with how things went? What's the overall the feeling? Yeah. So like, I don't have a Japanese heritage, so of course I'm a big supporter of Japanese judo. I work at the Japanese judo federation, but I also have the perspective that judo needs to be more global and judo needs to develop and there needs to be judo heroes spread across the country so that judo develops as a whole. And of course, uh, I would have loved for Japan to beat France in the final of that, uh, of, uh, of the team event. But I think it's a great symbolism, you know, France comes to Japan and they beat Japan on their home soil at the pinnacle of the judo event. And then the Paris Olympic Games are coming up in three years and then we're going to go visit them. So I think it's, it's a great setup and it's a great story. And yep, you know, it's funny. After that happened, uh, I spoke with Mr. Yamashita after the medal ceremony, just talking. And it's kind of a symbolism as well because at the 1964 Olympic Games, Anton Haysink beat uh, Aki Kaminaga. And it kind of demonstrated that judo was a global sport. Uh, Japan lost in the open weight category on home soil at the Nippon Budokan. And this happened again uh, in 2021. So I think that's a, a great symbolism for the sport of judo as well. That it's not just that Japan's dominating, it's just that Japan judo is really spread across the world, just how Professor Kano intended it to be. Yeah, I think uh, as the stories were unfolding, I mean, the Olympics turned out to be quite amazing. I mean, obviously it fell short because of the lack of fans. That's about the only problem that we kind of all anticipated was going to happen. Um, mm -hmm. Without that, I mean, the team events, like I, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I watching yeah. that from a spectator standpoint, I think it yeah. came out really well. And if there were fans in the building, that would have been even more amazing, but it turned out well. And all the stories that were building up kind of played out really well. Like you said, I think that this mm -hmm. story of France winning the team event is big. Um, Israel, mm -hmm. who's been doing really well over the last few years, didn't do so good in the individual competition, but they came through with the bronze and the team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you had the Abe uh, siblings both win gold. You yeah. had uh, Ono come through, like everybody wanted to see Ono win and he did what he needed mm -hmm. to do to win out there. And there was just a lot of amazing stories unfolding. I wanted to, you know, when I, when I think of all this going on and judo is already so big in Japan, do you guys feel that the success and all these stories of all these great things happening, do they correlate to the growth of the sport or do you see like more participation when these kind of things happen? So yeah, um, I think, of course, the Olympic Games is huge. Um, we had our like our homepage was almost shut down because everybody was visiting. Uh, everybody was searching Abe siblings on YouTube. It was trending everywhere. And yeah, it, it's a huge part of growing the sport. And of course, all, the All Japan Judo Federation is uh, as a member of the Japanese Olympic Committee. So one of our main goals is to win gold medals at the Olympic Games. Yeah, But moreover, I think, uh, or judo or the Olympics is much more about winning medals. It's, you know, it's a very special way in that the world unites and competes in the spirit of fair play, solidarity, you know, international friendship, peace. You know, these are fundam fundamental aspects of judo as well. So judo and the Olympics have a lot in common. And that's why I think it's so popular at the Olympic Games. Like you said, if there were spectators, it would have been full. It was full from the beginning 